Good morning, how's everybody doing? I'm IT2 of the Olos. I'm an ACFL here at the Naval War College. Today I'm gonna to walk you through a full body workout. I'll be demonstrating workouts with free weights as well as doing an alternative method using a household item such as a backpack. Let's go ahead and get started with the workout. So for today's workout, I'm gonna do a little bit of upper body first for this first workout. I'm gonna show you various exercises you can do using free weights that I have displayed here, as well as a household item in case you don't have those free weights. I'm gonna be utilizing a backpack. So for the first exercise, we're gonna do four sets. We're gonna do shoulder press, followed by resistance push-ups. So I'll demonstrate the first workout with the free weights and then with the backpack. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna grab the free weights, we're gonna do 10 repetitions. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna have the weights like this. Make sure you got a good stance. This exercise is better to do standing up because it allows more resistance onto your body to make the most out of your shoulders. So what you're gonna do, we're gonna do 10 repetitions. So you're gonna look up, you're gonna have a firm stance with the weights. You're gonna go up straight like this. Make sure you feel those shoulders contracting, come back down. You're gonna go up, come back down. You're gonna do that for 10 repetitions. Let me go ahead and display this workout now with the alternative method using the backpack. If you have a backpack, I would recommend filling it up with something like books, any kind of household items you might have to add weight to add resistance to the workout. So what you're going to do is you're going to get in your stance, you're going to hold the backpack like this, have it about chest high right here. You're going to press up with this motion. Up, make sure you feel those shoulders, those deltoids contract, come back down, up again, come back down. 10 repetitions just like that. I want you to focus more on the form to really get the most out of that muscle contracting. We're working our deltoids as well as the secondary muscles in the triceps and a little bit of the incline part of the chest that a lot of people tend to neglect. Remember, 10 repetitions of shoulder press and then followed by resistance push-ups. We're gonna go ahead and do 10 resistance push-ups. I'll go ahead and demonstrate. So with the resistance push-ups, you're gonna get in the push-up position. Remember, Keep the body tight, core tight. You're gonna go down, come back up, pinch those elbows, contract that chest. But on the resistance portion, remember, you're going down slow and then exploding up. Slow, exploding up. You're gonna do that for 10 reps. If you can't do 10, that's fine. Do as many as you can. The, the point I want is that I want you to have the best form to get the most out of the exercise. And this will complete the first part of the workout four sets, 10 repetitions of shoulder press, 10 repetitions of push-ups. So the second portion of this workout we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little bit of legs as well as chest again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do five sets. We're gonna do squats, but resistant squats followed by close grip push-ups. So what we're gonna do with the first portion of this exercise is do squats. So what I want you to do is get in your stance. Remember, keep your legs a little bit wide Keep your legs a little bit wide. And then what you want to do is be in your stance like if you were doing football, right? Because what we don't want to do is we don't have a lot of pressure on our knees. So come to the ready. And when you go down, instead of just doing it regular, I want you to do resistance like how you do on the push-ups. So go ahead, go down slow. Really feel the contraction. You're working your posterior chain. Come back up. Squeeze the glutes. Keep the body tight. That's one. I want you to do 10 repetitions. Down, slow, come back up, squeeze, feel the contraction in your glutes, hamstrings, as well as the quads. As soon as you're done with that, go straight down into the push-up position. Close grip push-ups works a lot of the middle portion of the chest and heavily on the triceps as well as the front part of the deltoids. You can do the diamond shape. If you can't do it that close, keep them as close as you can. We're gonna do 10 close grip push-ups, go down, Come back up, really feel the contraction on the triceps as well as the middle chest. Just like this. 10 repetitions, come back up, go straight into the resistance squats, superset, no rest. Remember, if you can't do no rest, take the time you need, do it at a good pace, but do it with correct form, and that'll complete the second portion of this workout. So for the final portion of this workout, we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of cardio. So now that we've worked legs, we've worked our upper body, let's get that cardiorespiratory system going. Let's build that cardiovascular endurance. So what we're gonna do is get your timer out on your phone. You're gonna need it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do 30 seconds of jump squats followed by a minute of jumping jacks. 
and then followed by 10 four count calf raises. So we're gonna do this with five sets. So what I want you to do, 30 second jump squats, what we're gonna do, you're gonna come to the ready, just like you were in your squat, come back down. When you come up, remember, explode up just like this, go back down, up. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. You want that heart rate pumping. After the 30 seconds, you're gonna do 30 seconds of jumping jacks, just like this. 30 seconds, just like that for 30 seconds, followed by 10 four count calf raises. So you're just gonna count to yourself one, two, three. On this last one, that's gonna be one. So you're gonna do 10 of those. When you do the calf raise, I want you to really emphasize on the contraction on the way up. I want you to feel that calf contracting to get the most out of your calves. You're gonna repeat this for five sets, nonstop. Try your best on this last portion to do it nonstop without rest because we want your cardiovascular endurance to increase and you want your heart rate to get up as you can. And that'll complete the portion of the workout. Now that we've completed today's full body workout, you can use this workout and various exercises that we just did into your everyday life and you can always mix it up. Remember, stay hydrated, stay healthy, let's be the best you can be and I hope you enjoyed today's workout. I'm Mighty Tuvio Lobos, we'll see you next time.